Running a simulation that is both accurate and efficient is important. As far as meshing is concerned, an accurate solution must be as mesh independent as possible. In terms of efficiency, you want a good mesh distribution, but not one with too many nodes if not necessary, especially if you are dealing with large assemblies with many small features. In SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2017, you can now use the blended curvature base measure with both H and P adaptive methods, efficiently leading to more accurate results. Let's discuss this in more detail. In SOLIDWORKS Simulation, we always had the standard measure. It generates a uniformly distributed mesh with some adjustments depending on the geometry. For a model with disproportionate features, such as very small fillets, you either apply manual mesh controls or, to do everything fully automatically, you can use the curvature-based measure. It is extremely powerful, refining the mesh around small features. The only drawback is that it makes a finer mesh everywhere you have such smaller features. So if you have a large assembly with lots of fillets, for example, you may end up with a very high number of nodes, even if not necessary, to get accurate results. The blended curvature-based measure generates a better distribution, similar to the curvature-based measure, but with a smaller number of nodes. In this example, for the same typical element size, the curvature-based measures generate a much better distribution adjusted to the geometry compared to the standard measure. Also, the blended curvature algorithm generates a smaller number of nodes than the curvature measure, even though the overall mesh distribution looks quite similar. When you think about solution time, remember that the stiffness matrix has a quadratic relationship with the number of nodes. That means twice as many nodes makes the stiffness matrix four times larger. In addition to the significance of generating a good initial mesh in SOLIDWORKS simulation, you can activate the H and P adaptive methods so that the solution is adjusted during the number crunching. Up until today, you could use the H and P adaptive methods with both the standard and curvature measures, but not with the blended curvature measure. This functionality hole has been addressed in 2017. Now, you can use the power of the blended curvature-based measure and the H and P adaptive meshing at the same time. This means you have the best of the two walls, which is important if you are simulating large assemblies with smaller features and want accurate results at the same time. SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2017 has many new features and enhancements. We just reviewed one of these new capabilities that can easily be overlooked. With a combination of the blended curvature-based measure and the H or P adaptive method, you can get more accurate results more efficiently. For more information, check out the SOLIDWORKS launch website, attend one of the rollout events provided by your local value-added reseller, and review the What's New PDF document as part of your installation.